Minnesota, they have everything from a Heisman to a Nagurski in their rich legacy. And today in Minneapolis, the Golden Gophers hope to add another memorable chapter. A Big Ten showdown coming conference games where the results will stick with you for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Maryland Terrapins taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a bye, the Minnesota Golden Gopher. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Our Terrapins will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. So Minnesota's offense will take the first swing of the game. And when you have a quarterback like this guy, the entire offense feeds off of him, David. Oh, everybody feeds off of his energy. And the whole playbook's open because you can trust on him. He's dependable. And the pass rush is effective. And they tackle him at the 19. And I think this offense was looking for a reason to ignite the home crowd. Coming out on first down, throwing the football. But the defense was ready. Nice job getting to the quarterback making a big sack on the first play of the game. And they are looking for a ball play that'll work. Now facing second and long from the 19. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give is to Taylor. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And not the optimum setup to try to salvage the opening drive with a third and long. He's going to take off. At the 35, he's open. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He hurls one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Golden Gopher. Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going to that ball. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes courtesy of an explosive play in the passing game from 60 yards out. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Maryland Terrapins offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Runs through a tackle. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Got three on first down at second and seven. Gonna run it. It's Hemby. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll try to power their way ahead. And the Terrapins get enough for the first down. After picking up a couple of first downs already on this drive, they'll snap it from close to midfield. They'll throw it on first down. 
That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. To the air, it's Edwards. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. They'll try to pop the draw. Almost got to the sticks on third down. Able to pick up six, but they're looking at a fourth and one. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it past the marker. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. The Terrapins want to crank the tempo. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They want to run it left here. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Getting some heat. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. On first and goal, they have a chance to answer with a score of their own. They're bringing heat. Makes the catch. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Terrapins. Then what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. Blitz the uprights. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Pulls and fires complete. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Running game got stuffed on first down, still from their own 25 on second and 10. Gives it to the back on the draw. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. Trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. And the Golden Gophers will call on their punt team. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. On the return, it's Smith. He gets a block. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. From the gun, the ground game. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, wants to throw. Makes his connection. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Got a man. It's Hemby. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Coming after it. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. 
They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. And the Terrapins will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Offense set on first down. The give to the back. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Time winding down in the quarters. They come to the line. Scanning the field, it's Brosmer. Get it out on the screen. And they'll move the chains and a good way to wrap up the first quarter. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. We played one and we are right back where we started. All tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. After that tight first quarter, this second period ought to be a lot of fun. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Stuffed, almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They get him down after he makes the catch. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. The Golden Gophers are moving quickly down the field. They're getting this guy lathered up. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Taylor has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. Trying to make magic with his feet. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. And the Golden Gophers with the first and 10. Going to the running game. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They move the tight end all over. Running back searching for a hole. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Five yards away from another third down conversion on this drive. They're already two for two. Open space of the 25. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I think one of the hardest places to move the football in the field is right outside that fringe area. Now the offense gets to skip that area because it was a great job by this running back making something happen, getting the ball all the way down the field, now set up on first and goal. They pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he'll be stuck. Got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Twice they've been denied touchdowns in the red zone, and now it's third and goal. Pressure coming. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. They'll play it safe Number and try for three. On the field goal. Absolutely perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Michigan is currently ahead in this one in a jam-packed big house, but it's been close so far. They're up by 10 over Michigan State. Just another week of college football.
We've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Maryland has the ball back and the Terrapin offense ready to go. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, Dave. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. He'll pull it down and run. Nice job of avoiding the sack and picking up a few on the run. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. Going to try to get it himself. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. After the run, 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 now to throw. Blast it as he lets it go. As he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Looking to throw, it's Edwards. This time, he's got his man. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. He'll pull it on the read. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves the change for the first down. They've already moved the chains a couple of times on this drive. Now out close to midfield. A quick touch pass to the receiver. To the 10. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. The run from the shotgun. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. On the move, he fires. Got him downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. He makes a grab, and he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. Snap in the shotgun. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Maryland! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Looking to go up top on first down. They're trying to get to it. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Oh, look out. He's at the 10. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. And I love the play call. Oftentimes, offensively, you like to throw the football deep down in your own end and take shots because you're anticipating man coverage. So if you get a receiver that can get behind the defense, that has a chance to be a home run type play. And you saw it work out exactly that way right there.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Getting some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length, he's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that side. It's complete on the right side. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there in Minneapolis. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to our guys at the bank there in the Twin Cities. The Golden Gophers will kick it off to start the second half. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense ready to go. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and, and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Defense came on the field with fresh legs, and here on just the second play of the drive, they're able to get a sack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to pass, it's Edwards. They're bringing heat. He's going to run it. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. The Terrapins will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They'll try the right side. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give is to Taylor. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Quarterback checking the play. He'll do it himself. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Golden Gophers look to keep this drive humming. Single back formation, and they give it to him. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They go right back to it. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He wants it all. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. Hand off from the shotgun. 
works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Trying to get to it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Number and they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. And it's right down the boulevard. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Vanderbilt is currently trailing, but this has been a back-and-forth affair. If that quarterback can find a little magic a la Jay Cutler, this might not be over just yet. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Texas. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Back to throw, it's Edwards. A strike downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep, and that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy passing catch. And the Terrapins will snap it on first and ten. They'll give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Power football with the run. Sweet feet on the move. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. And they'll send out the field goal unit. He got it. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. And man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. A third and long coming up here. To the air. It's Brosmer. Coming after it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. The Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. 
Running it back, it's Smith. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense ready to go. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job. And the ball's loose in the backfield. He picks it up, still on his feet. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. The problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turn. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. They'll leave it with him. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They make the stop, and he got work done on the ground, picking up six to the 23. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. The Terrapins have their offense in high gear. That's going to do it for the quarter, and Minnesota has the lead here. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. The give to the tailback. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Here's the handoff. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would love to have back. Trailing by three here in the fourth quarter, just didn't hit it as flush as he would have loved. Minnesota has it back in the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got his man! And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Running to the left. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Taylor. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. It's a draw. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. Finds his big tight end. 
And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. This offense not only has a chance to extend the lead, but they can also drain that clock. Pressure coming. And the quarterback is snowed under. Quarterback just has to be more aware of the situation. First down, goal to go situation. You cannot take a sack. So the QB, if no one's open, you got to make sure you're throwing that ball out of the end zone and helping your offense out. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Now the play fade. Going for six. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And they take it in for six more points. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Vanderbilt is down big on the scoreboard. And for a program that traditionally struggles to score, I think we know where this one is headed. They're trailing by 14 to Texas. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Ellis? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Now they'll run the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking to throw, it's Edwards. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beaten time and time again. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch. He's got enough. Smashes through. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. They're going back to the ground. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. It'll be a draw. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. And the Terrapins are moving quickly down the field. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The pull and throw off the RPO. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. They're trying to get to it. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. The Terrapins headed quickly to the line. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. He's looking downfield to throw.
getting some heat. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He lost one down the sideline. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And that decision will be questioned for a while. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. One-step wrap, two-step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll throw on third and short. Catch in the middle, it's Spencer. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Movement here from the tight end. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. The defense calls the timeout, and that's their last one of the half. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. They go to the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Taylor has it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Golden Gophers will try to pin them back with the punt. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. I know the situation looks bleak, but have we nothing if we don't have hope, David? Amen. I mean, keep hope alive. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And the Terrapins want to pick up the tempo. And he spikes it, but there's no time remaining on the clock. A valiant effort, but it is not enough. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen here. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff, understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.